The name Russell Aldred probably doesn't mean anything to you, but his alter ego, Michel, is a local living legend here in Toronto. On tonight's Inside Story, the transformation of Toronto's oldest drag queen. Avery. Gord Russell is 81 years old. Imagine all the changes he has seen in his life. A gay man and a drag queen performing in the city since the 1950s. The Inside Story takes you into the dressing room as Russell creates the diva herself, Michelle Dubarry. My name is Russell Peters Aldred. And I was born in 1931. This 81-year-old man you see in bright yellow Crocs and sunglasses walking through the gay village may not look like it, but he's an icon, a legend, a trailblazer. There's got to be an eye back cream. I'm sure there is. Tucked away in a dressing room, surrounded by gowns and jewels and makeup, the transformation begins. And we all lose our charms in the end. It's all about um, stage, really. I mean, uh, I enjoy being that other person. I mean, I like being Russell. I just love being Michelle. So. <laughs> the Crocs are slipped off, the pumps put on. The age, you know, you gotta have some cleavage. And the final piece is put into place. Nothing like having a nice head of hair. Say goodbye to Russell and meet Toronto's oldest drag queen. Well, right now I'm Michelle DeBerry. Does it feel very different to be dressed up as Michelle than to be Russell? Oh, well, I just, I'm a different person. There was times in the late 40s and early 50s where I thought to myself, well, it would be nice to press a button and be a woman. Because being born a boy who loves boys and loves to dress up as a girl isn't always easy now. It was much less so back then. I'm guessing that there may have been some dark moments being a drag queen in the city of Toronto. Uh, we had a lot of police harassment in the 50s and 60s. We would be doing some shows and we would be lined up and inspected to make sure we had men's underwear on. A lot of the police, uh, they wanted to take you out to Cherry Beach. Well, that was a threat uh, because you're a fag or, or queer. They threatened you with, uh, well, some of them did take a queer person and throw them into Lake Ontario. Do you feel as though you had to, though, hide who you were? Because in those early days, there was no village where you could feel safe. Well, it was, oh, very underground, you see. So the general public, not like today, you, you kept your own identity uh, in the daytime. Michelle's life in photos offers a rare glimpse into the life of a drag queen through more than seven decades, all the way back to the very first picture of nine-year-old Russell playing dress-up in 1940. When you put that dress on, did something kind of click that, geez, this feels right? Oh, it was perfectly natural, yeah, yes, oh yes. I think, I, I think probably, um, I probably should have been born a girl, I guess. In the midst of pride celebrations, in the aftermath of an historic U.S. Supreme Court ruling on gay marriage, Michelle Dubarry revels in all that has changed and sheds tears for what's remained the same. I was just flown to Elliott Lake for a pride celebration and I met this young fellow, 15 going on 16. He had tried to commit suicide. His father's mother preaching about Jesus Christ could save you from being queer. What is the matter with parents. What is their problem that they can't accept people for who they are and what they are? Despite those struggles, this is the proof of just how far we've come. Michelle Dubarry in broad daylight proudly walking through downtown streets, stopped at nearly every step by adoring fans in a community where she is as much a fixture as the rainbow flag. I'm on old age pension. I got rent, rent go to income. I'm very blessed. I have a, a decent place to live. You've had a good life. Yes, I have a wonderful life. I can say I'm proud of being called a drag queen. And Michelle has mm -hmm. uh, had an intense schedule this year because uh, of shows and fundraisers. She was elected the Empress of the Toronto Imperial Court, and they've raised more than $40,000 yep. for charitable events. And he or she does feels quite comfortable walking up and down the street, something that he or she couldn't have done years ago. And he and she, because Russell really feels as though when he's, he a, when he's, when he's Russell, okay. he's Russell, and when, when, you know, when he's not, he's, he's not. But yeah, Russ. Michelle is just uh, loved in the community. Okay, great. You can reach out to Avery on Twitter, at City Avery is the address. The Inside Story runs every Tuesday and Thursday on City News, and all segments are up on our website, citynews.ca.